all her money. Philip wasn't interested in the money. Preachers, listen to me. Philip was not interested in the money. Philip did not lay charge to that Ethiopian to talk to him about Jesus. Philip wasn't interested in the money. This, the Bible tells us that this, this, unit, this Ethiopian was wealthy. This eunuch was wealthy. He had control of all the queen's money. He would probably have paid dearly to stay out of hell. But Philip didn't, wasn't interested in the money. Philip was interested in his soul and being obedient to the Holy Ghost. Philip walked up to the carriage. And the Ethiopian was sitting there reading the Bible. He was reading in Isaiah. The Bible calls it Isaiah because we're in the New Covenant. The Greek word is Isaiah. The Hebrew word is Isaiah for that name. If you want to know what the difference is between the two. One is written in Hebrew, which is Isaiah. And one is written in, written in Greek, which is Isaiah. And so he went and he met the, uh, the, uh, the man. And he had gone to Jerusalem to worship and was returning back to Ethiopia. Verse 28 was returning and sitting in his chariot read Isaiah the prophet. He was reading Isaiah and the, then the Spirit saith unto Philip, go near. You see, God directs when he's got something for you to do. He said, go get closer, Philip. Don't stand out here and look and just go get closer to him. And join thyself to his chariot. You see, God, even back then, had a plan. He knew that he wanted Philip and he wanted the eunuch to be obedient. He wanted both of them. He wanted that eunuch to be his child. And he knew that he needed Philip to be obedient. He needed to teach Philip also. Both are learning a lesson here. Join thyself to his chariot in verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Esaias and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Philip asked the eunuch, Do you understand what you're reading? He said, how can I? Look at what it says. And he says, how can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come, and, uh, come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which was read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a dumb lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. He's reading Isaiah 53 and verse 7 and 8. He's reading Isaiah. And he asked Philip, Philip said, do you know, understand what you're reading? He said, no, how can I except some man come and talk to me and teach me these things? Is basically what he was saying. Then Philip started with the same scripture. If you'll read on, Philip started with the same scripture. But Philip read it under and spoke it under a different anointing. Philip was called of God. Philip was chosen of God. Philip was anointed of God. And Philip started with the very same scripture. And he started talking to the eunuch. And he preached to him not only that scripture, but he preached to him all about Jesus Christ and told him about how Christ had come, the only begotten Son of God, how he shed his blood on Calvary, how he died on Calvary, was buried and rose the third day. And how he was the redeemer. He told him all of that. And the chariot, the old, the old unit, was just getting on down the road back toward Ethiopia. Philip was riding along, riding, riding right beside of him because the anointing was on both of them. And they came by this water, body of water. And the unit looked at Philip and he said, What forbids me to be baptized? He said, You have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. That God had raised him from the dead. He said, I believe. He said, I believe. You see, he had heard the gospel. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. But the word of God had to be delivered under the anointing of God. And it had to be complete. And he couldn't find what he needed for salvation right there in the book of Isaiah. He needed a man of God to come tell him the plan of salvation. He needed Romans 10, 9, and 10. He needed all of it. Hallelujah. And God sent Philip to deliver 
and, got, and Philip delivered it. He says, what hindereth me from being baptized? And Philip said, nothing. I didn't run out of time. And Philip said, nothing. Our, and Philip took him down into the water and baptized him. They both went down under the water, the Bible says. And when they both arose, the Holy Ghost got a hold of Philip. It's over. You've done your work. Translated him back to a city about 30 miles away. All of a sudden, Philip opened his eyes, and he was inside of a church preaching again. He had done left church, went out, and led a man to the Lord. Left Jerusalem, went out, and led a man to the Lord, and come back, and he was in a church 30 miles on down the road. But I'm telling each one of you today, those of you joining by television, that God loves you, and he wants to save you also. Amen. Carmen, I don't know how we're going to do this, but I'm going to say the sinner's prayer. You work it out the best way you can. Anyway, if God is dealing with your heart, you can't get saved when you want to. John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You can't get saved when it's convenient for you. Jesus also says in the word, John 6, 44, No man can come unto me except the Father which has sent me. Draw him. You have to be drawn by the Holy Spirit. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. If something's been said today that convicts your heart, and you know that you need to be saved. Repeat this prayer with me. Father God, I come before you today. I am a sinner. I'm asking forgiveness of my sins. Place them under the blood of Jesus. For I believe in my heart. And I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God. And that you raised him from the dead. This moment, I invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart to be my Savior. And I'll make him Lord of my life. I'm asking you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's book of life. And seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, dial the number on the screen. We want to pray with you. We'd love to see you some free literature. And just, just call us and let us know so we can rejoice with you. God bless you. Remember, Jesus is the answer around the world. Mm -hmm.